third installment of Creed is out in theaters this week. With the release, the star of the film, Michael B. Jordan, also makes his debut as a director. According to various early reviews, the film is a complete knockout. During an exclusive conversation with We On, Jordan, along with actors Tessa Thompson and Jonathan Majors, tell us why we must not miss this sports drama. Listen in. It's a fight, it's a battle. So, how long have you known each other? For me, directing was something that I guess I didn't think was possible until, you know, working with Ryan Coogler. I think the first time I stepped on set for Fruitville Station and, you know, seeing a young, you know, black man, you know, from similar places, you know, around my age, uh, directing uh, a feature film, you know, I, I, I saw myself in him. Adonis Creed. You don't remember me, huh? He worked in such a way where it was like, it's a real collaboration. You know, I think the best director is like, it's very much like, like a, a big brother, you know, or a good parent. They literally just let you run and, and, and put things in the way or move things out of the way to allow you to be you. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. I think Creed 3 makes so much sense for him. First of all, I think him directing makes sense. He's been working arguably his whole life because he started as a child actor. And I think when you have the benefit of, of working with so many incredible people, you learn a lot. Going back to the character of really realizing who Adonis is, but then also um, taking the action and, 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 and making the fights grand and, you know, leaning into the spectacle of, of the sport, of, of the pageantry of boxing, um, you know. Yeah, so that, I think that was the, the, fun, the, the fun part, was finding ways to keep it intimate and true to character and story, but then also how do we make this thing, you know, how do we take some real big creative swings and, uh, and take it to the next level. And I also have my own goals for what I wanted Dame to be. Dame also represents to me, I, I have so many friends and family members who have been incarcerated. So many dreams that have been shut up and locked down, you know? And so I felt I had a duty to represent those folks. I think uh, this is a movie to see it on a big screen because, um, you know, I, I think there's so many things in our movie that will feel and look better on, you know, in the movie theater. You know what I'm saying? Like the fights, the action, you know, you want to see that up close and personal. You want to feel, you know, every punch. You want to hear every, you know, impact. You know, every, 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 you know, drip of sweat, drop of blood that's, you know, that's coming up, you know, off of our bodies in this fight. I think the big screen just lends itself to that, to the, to the scope of the movie. There's no other way to see this one. You know, um, the size of it, the intimacy of it, the sound of it, uh, the emotion of it, it has to be seen in the cinemas. I think he's incredibly disciplined. He's always been with these films. It takes a tremendous amount of preparation with the physicality especially, but getting to see him sort of take that spirit of approaching the work in an almost athletic way to take that into directing um, was just an honor to get to watch. I need you to let go of your fear. Let go of the guilt. Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. I fear those chains are breaking, yeah. I fear God, I don't fear death. I see those strings and you're still.